Now you're ready for more advanced date manipulation. In this lesson, we will introduce get date and date add, as well as expand on date diff from earlier. Get date is a great SQL function that returns the current timestamp of the computer's operating system that is running SQL Server. You can use it instead of manually setting date values, which saves you time when executing queries. Your code will also be more consistent and less error prone. You will use get date often when writing your own functions and store procedures. Here you can see how to select get date and set a variable to its return value. Date add is another powerful date function. It adds an integer value to the date passed for the date part specified. Remember date part arguments from the beginning of the course? That's how you tell SQL Server which part of the date you'd like to manipulate. Here, we are adding one day to the date value of 2-27-2019. We can even combine date add and get date to select yesterday's date. There's no date subtract function in SQL because we don't need it. We can just add negative numbers to get the same effect. What if we need to know how many passengers were picked up in taxis yesterday? We can use date add and get date in the where clause of our select statement. This query will return yesterday's passenger count regardless of the actual date by subtracting one from the value of get date. Remember date diff from earlier? It's a SQL function that counts how many times the date part boundary specified has been crossed between two dates. That's not always the same as the difference between two dates as we would often think about it. The first example shows the day boundary has been crossed once between 2-27-2019 and 2 2019 as we would expect. But have there really been two years between 12-31-2017 and 1-1-2019? No, but the year boundary has been crossed twice. The return value of date diff depends on the date part argument you pass. Let's find the first day of the current week by using day diff, date add, and get date. Here, we are nesting three SQL functions together. Don't worry, let's break them down individually. When evaluating nested functions in SQL, it can be helpful to start from the innermost function. First, we are calling get date to return the current date. Second, we are calling date diff to see how many weeks between today and zero, which is equal to 1 1 in SQL Server. It's been 6,217 weeks since 1 1 By adding zero weeks to the 6,217th week with the date add function, SQL Server will return the date of the beginning of that week. Reading and writing nested date functions takes practice, so let's get started.